The next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby, on the radar radio. Yo, special guest in the building, the one, the only Hemward in the building, my guy. Hit me him. Hit me him. No way, man. Him dunking, all that shit. Hey, How you feeling, that, bro? Man, I'm geeking, bro. I'm excited I'm to have geeking. you here. This is hard. This is hard. I'm excited to be here, bro. Yeah, man. It's cool because I've been sure. like, I've been watching you through, well, one, of course, your social media, but through like the Glenn Brown lens. Yeah. Like for like the last, like, what, six months now, Glenn, I feel like, since like six, seven months? Eight months now almost. I feel like I got introduced to you earlier this year. Yeah. But it's been cool watching you through that lens because it's like I see what you post, yeah. right? But then I also get like the super behind the scenes of like you working or like, yeah. you know, like the close friends and, and seeing what you oh, guys are really yeah. working on that, you know, you can't really even share yet. But it's been cool watching that because I feel like I'm watching like the artist, like this, like the artist development process, like from the beginning to like where we are now to everything that you have coming. So that's I think has been the coolest part about watching you grow these past couple months. I appreciate that, Gabe. For real, this shit, it's been crazy. Like, like as soon as I made the switch to him, where this shit just been rolling. Like to switch to him, where yeah, you know what I'm saying. So let's talk about the old, old name since you you know you just brought it. So you used to go by Just Leak. Yeah. Right. Right. Um. Well, first of all, what's the origins of Just Leak? Like of that name. Well, my my real name Malik. Your real name, okay. Yeah. So it was just it was just off of that. Some simple shit, you know. I probably like fourteen, fifteen mm -hmm. when I made that shit. So. <laughs> so you had that name for quite some time. Yeah. Um. And then you, when did you officially change the name to Hemward? Like December, early December. Mm -hmm. Like, is that fresh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Christmas type shit. So with the Just Leak, like, um, obviously there's like music still out there that people can go listen to. Yeah. Um. But what was like the main decision to go from like just leak to Hemward? Yeah, and, yeah, cause I fucked up <laughs> with what I just said. Cause Hemward, is it's been a thing, but mm -hmm. it was just like some funny shit to me. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I made like a second SoundCloud, like just to put ideas, like spitballs and mm -hmm. shit. And I called it Hemward, like just on some you know some funny shit. And like I don't know, like everybody was just like everything. Everybody I sent that shit to was like. Everything you got on there is it. Like, you having fun with that shit. Like, do the Hemward shit. Mm -hmm. That's you. Like, you Hemward, bruh. You know what I'm saying? So I just went with it. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. So the, from Just Leak to Hemward, you just felt like... Obviously, Hemward originally started off as, like, this more experimental side of you. Yeah. But it just ended up turning out to be like, now nah, this is what the people really want. Exactly. Like, literally. <laughs> literally that, bruh. Because with, even with the Just Leak shit, like, it started getting too... Like, I wasn't having fun with that shit no more. Like, it was seeming like a task. I really, like, got in my head, like, just overthinking the shit, you know? So, like, I took a hiatus, and that's when I made the Hemward shit, like, really around COVID. And, yeah, that shit, I just started having fun with that shit. Like, everything I would put on that alternate account was just fine. Mm, okay. So, okay, so let me, so let me do this then, right? How do you start to transition, like, your brain from thinking, like, just leak to just Hemward? Because, like... You were putting out music as Just League for a minute, right? Right. But obviously, Hemward is kind of like the alternate side of you, like, you know, like the just for fun shit. Was it an easy transition for you? Because now you're Hemward, right? So yeah. do some of the issues or thoughts that you faced as Just League kind of bleed into this now where you question things that you drop? Or how does that how does that kind of play out in your mind? Not, I try not to let it because, you know, shit, I'm human. So, like, right. of course it seep in. But, like, I, I just... Like, go back to that. Like, we made him work on the, you know, letting go of that shit. Like, having fun. Like, you know? So, nah, not really. Mm. Not really. And you haven't done, like, a lot of in Did you do any interviews? Just this, is my first, this is my first. This is my first real crazy. interview. So, yeah. how long were you so making music at Just League for how many years? Since I was, like, I'm going to say, like, 14. 14. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, 12. 12. So, you, so you've been making music since you were 12 years old? Bro, like before then, yeah, before what then, before, I had. Who was before then? Like nine. Okay. I had like the old, you know, like the uh, the journalist shit, the mm. uh, the recorders. Mm. I used to record on them bitches. I had like beat CDs I would burn, like shit I would download on LimeWire, like beats on LimeWire and shit. Oh, you and, from the LimeWire days? You know what I'm saying? Shit okay. like that. Yeah. So you from the real real deal the music trenches? All that, bro. <laughs> yes, yes. Gas station mixtapes, all mm. that. Like yes, bro. But I I would 
get the beat CDs or like yeah, make beat CDs mm -hmm. and just um, play the shit on the you know on the TV and just record. You know what I'm saying? Rap, make songs like that. Like I've been making songs since then, bro. Like, That's crazy. So you're from yeah. North Carolina originally, right? Yeah. Born and raised. Yeah. Um, you're in Atlanta now. Yeah. But how how long like did you ever move when you were younger or was it just North Carolina the whole way through? It was it was North Carolina the whole way through, but. My mom, she moved a lot. Like we moved mm -hmm. a lot. So, like we and she would take us to go do shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like growing up, like we went to Delaware, like Philly. My um, my little sister's father, he's from Philly. Okay. So you know we would go there and shit, um, shit like that. Cause yeah. I was gonna say like even the way that your sound is and the music that I've heard from you, right? Mm -hmm. You know, obviously if you were to compare it to someone who makes music from North Carolina, what is considered, I guess, a norm in North Carolina, it's not that. Yeah, so that's why definitely was, not. <laughs> so where did like the musical inspiration draw from for you to create the sound? Cause I feel like you have a very unique sound and like that's in my head, I'm like, okay, it's not from North Carolina, clearly. Yeah. So where did, he, where did he pull this from? I got I got a heavy music background though. Like like I said, my little sister's father, mm. that nigga was a, a jazz musician. Okay. And he would have like gigs and he performed at like this it was a spot called the um Curiosity Shop. It was like downtown Washington where I'm from and shit. And he'll play there like all the time. So he would you know, just seeing him play instruments and shit around the house and like my mom, she Crazy neo soul like Erica Badu like all, yeah. you know all that shit like just just hearing so much and them just always giving me music like I think early as like nine or ten my mom got me the chronic you know what I'm saying like niggas was that I was not hearing that shit like around you know where I'm from I wasn't really hearing that like f folks was really on Dipset like up north shit right, cause or it's east, it's east coast you know or the down like south you yeah know, or the like, down south yeah, yeah. yeah it was one or the other you know. Mm. But my folks, they just listen to everything, so it just, you know, rolled off on me. That's fire. So yeah. you kind of got, so you got like a little bit of that neo soul background, the jazz background, yeah. and then they would bring to you like shit like the Chronic. You feel me? Like <laughs> throw a curveball like right in that shit. So how do you flip yeah. all that into like the sound that you make now, like and the beats that you pick? Because it's very like unique. I, I don't know what I would categorize it as. Yeah. Because I don't want to ca try to categorize music anymore. Because at this point I've given up. Because yeah. <laughs> everything's just so different now. But like. Yeah. Your sound, like creating the hem word sound and and whatnot, like where did you get that from? Like where did that first, like or like the producers that you started working with and whatnot? I really just be trying shit, bro. But I listen to a lot of music. Like I, as I got older, like past all that shit, like just the internet, the internet wave. Like, cause once I moved from Washington to where my grandmother's from and shit, it's it's a spot called Hyde County. Like it's nothing there, bro. Like. You got to go an hour both ways, like, and she live in the middle of the highway, like smack in the middle of the highway. You got to go an hour plus either way to even get to a fucking Walmart, McDonald's, all that shit. It ain't none of that down there. Mm. So, like, being down there, like, it just had me isolated, you know? So I would be on the internet all the time just looking, looking for music, like, just stuck on that shit, just looking, like, downloading hella mixtapes, downloading, like, you know, just... Whatever you could find. You know? And just over time, I don't know. I just, just experiment. Yeah, like being consistent in this shit. I guess, it, you know, just develop over mm. time. I, I can't really say. Well, like, obviously, like, like uh, you're part of, like, the like the air quotes underground scene, yeah. right? If that's what, you know, we're labeling it as, right? right? Yeah. Um, But I feel like, like, the under, say, like, the, the term, what, how do you feel about the term underground? Like, because I feel like, I don't know. I feel like the term underground is like a weird term now because there's like when you label underground artists, there's like underground yeah, artists are like different tiers, like even in the mainstream now. So it's kind of weird to just to call somebody an underground artist when it there's just I don't know. Yeah, it used to feel like underground to me used to feel like a thing. I don't. Yeah, I don't really. This shit just anything could be underground now because like anything could pop now. Like yeah. So it's I don't know. Like music is real weird right now. So <laughs> you know. Yeah. I don't. That's because that's what underground used to be to me, like the you know deep cut shit, like hidden gem shit, you know, like I don't know. Yeah, yeah but do you, <laughs> do you consider yourself an underground artist? Like, would you label yourself like that? Yeah, cause okay. yeah, cause I feel like I came up in that shit like around that 2012, 30, 2013, you know. Mm. 
all that shit. So. Like right before like the SoundCloud, SoundCloud. And all that yeah, early, off, yeah, right? early SoundCloud, like yeah, when that shit wasn't even when folks wasn't really even on SoundCloud like mm. that. Like you trying to get folks to listen to your music and you sending a SoundCloud link, they like, what the fuck is this? Like, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Not even going to that shit. So Well, as you've been crafting like the new Hemward brand, right? Cause mm. it's like we haven't really begun we get a lot of teasers, a lot of like a lot of videos, I feel like, but we haven't got like a lot of like full songs to release yet, right? Right. How did how how are you structuring like the new Hemward brand now? Because it's been eight months. So mm -hmm. when do we finally start to get like the full rollout of all the music and what you've been like creating? Soon, definitely, uh, definitely soon. Cause I'm working on a project right now, and um, yeah, it's a it's a lot of shit, bro. It's a it's a lot of shit. I've it's heard I've heard one really dope song. Glenn said to me the other night. Um, I'm gonna just say the joint with you and Key. Yeah, that's fire. Yeah, and that we were just talking about that. Like that shit's surreal. Like. That's a that's an artist I you know what I'm saying because he would be considered a quote unquote underground, underground for legend, sure yeah. for sure bro yeah so that was fire bro do you just start making those connections because it's like Atlanta and this is where all the artists are yeah I used or? to I, but just being in Atlanta like Atlanta's so fucking small like you know what I'm saying once you've been to spots you done been everywhere like and done seen everybody so I, we already was in like similar circles like i already had like mutuals and shit i don't you know what i'm saying <laughs> had hung hung around them and shit but it just was never nothing musical until now you know right yeah. like tony and then obviously we just had veda on the show not too long ago yeah. too like, I know, like tony and veda. i know sure. like those are obviously all your people too but i think yeah. it's cool how it's like obviously you're not from atlanta but like yeah. there's like that circle now in atlanta that everybody's kind of like encompassing that's like right. i guess like its own subsection of the underground scene that is like coming up and I would even go you know like Anisia Caribou all them too like who also occupy that same Hard. space like yeah, I think 100%. that that's really fire and like not everybody sounds alike at all but like you could see where like each one of y'all could like oh I like this from this person I'm gonna you know pick that and add on to and do my own spin on it and then vice versa like I think that it's cool and again I don't know what I would categorize that sound as yet right. but I think it's cool how it's like bubbling up and obviously you've seen the success of it I've, with the beginning of the new Hemward brand Nisia Cara Veda Key Tony like yeah. I think that that's like the, the coolest part about it too I appreciate that and, and I it feels like you have a community too in there yeah like you found like a new home of like uh, what's the word I'm looking for like a new well yeah a new community of artists that kind of is like all part of like that same type of sound the right. same way that I see like Cash and Chow and all of them up here with, right. with, with what they've created like it's kind of like that like you have that support system through all the other artists 100 yeah and it's cool as fuck because like everybody you name I fuck with them like I really listen to their music so that shit is cool but I, I used to stay in Atlanta for a little bit from like 2018 to 20 about 2022 mm. but i would like 2021 i moved back to north carolina but i you know went back so i i was out there a little bit right yeah. you I, I saw on your twitter you had said you told me i died a week ago i believe you because these past seven days have been a never-ending fever dream and this was like recently too so what's what was that like this was like top of august i think right or end of july yeah. so what was going on that week that like you you was on like this level of like man high? i don't even remember a lot of that shit like it was that like type that. fever dream like yeah it was, i mean like the best of the best and the worst of the worst mm. is, is the best way i could put it was that week <laughs> you said what was that week it was that week definitely okay. yeah <laughs> for sure well what's yeah. like the best of the best like just feeling like damn we arrived like mm. you know what i'm saying like we definitely got more to do but like we here, like this shit for real now, you know? Right. Like really coming to terms with like, you know, just being present in the moment, like, you know, like this shit really going on, mm -hmm. you know? Do you ever feel like you're not doing enough? All the time, yeah, all the time. But I feel like most people, you know, <laughs> most people, yeah. yeah. I feel like that, Rob feels like that, Kyle feels like that. Yeah, everybody, man. Like, with the project, right? I got the name of it. We calling it uh, Calm Down, Hemi. Yes, sir. Right? So that's coming out this year? Yes. Um, yes. Soon? Soon, for sure. Soon. Because yeah. I feel like it's like I, you had like this nice buzz throughout the year. Yeah. I feel like it's like, nah, you can't wait no more after nah, that. Nah, bro. And like for a couple months, I was sitting. And like going back to what you said about not feeling like I'm doing enough. Yeah. Like what? That During that time, I was kicking myself in the ass. And then like... When I went back to Atlanta and got back to work, I I worked super hard just because of that. Like, mm. 
wasn't even getting no sleep. <laughs> like the fever dream shit. I'm dead serious, bro. <laughs> I feel like I was fucking sleepwalking, bro. Like, <laughs> it was crazy. It was crazy. Production wise, who do, uh, who you been working with for this project? Oh, man, some of everybody. Cause like I said, I've been going like going crazy. So man, I got ADHD, bro. So <laughs> mm. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I go through a pack, and then next thing you know, like I, I have a song for that, and. Now I'm on another pack, you know what I'm saying? Got some, you know, and don't even know where to start. Yeah. So, but um, I've been fucking with, I've been fucking with First Class. I've been fucking with First Class. Power Up. I've been fucking with my boy Hotel Room. You feel me? Yeah, my boy Telly. You know, um, a lot of folks, bro. A lot of folks. Yeah. So we got a lot of good stuff on the way. Yeah. Let's Luger. I'm tripping. Let's Luger. That was fire. That's tough. Yeah. That's tough. Um. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> so we got the project this year. Yeah. Um, what else we got cooking? Um, singles, videos, everything. No more yeah. waiting. No more waiting, bro. Like, it's up. <laughs> it's Word. Up. Well, I'm excited it's for up. you, man. And thank you thank for you, allowing bro. us to do this. Yeah. Thank I've been, you, bro. Because I've been on like every like even when we in different cities, I'm like Glenn now. Yeah. Now, oh y'all in LA at the same time as us? Cool, bring them. You in Atlanta same time as us? Bring right. them. But I'm happy we. And we've been really in the same in areas. In the same area. A lot. Like, we were supposed to link one time, but I think you got sick in Atlanta. Right. What? Or you were tired? Something, something yes. like that. Something, yeah. something like that. But I'm glad that. I'm, <laughs> but I'm glad that. Uh, yeah. I'm glad that we got to do it here in New York. You know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't Absolutely. have had it any other way than to have you right here at the at the main studio. Okay. Um, by the time the people see this freestyle out now, so go check that out. Hamward X on the radar out now. Yes, um, sir. Before we get up out of here, bro, and we have you rap. Anything else you want to let the people know? Where they can follow you at? All that good stuff. Now is the time mm. to do it. This camera right here. Boom. It's big Hemi with the one. Never done. Um, you can follow me at Hemward on everything. Um, shout out to everybody. I love all y'all for making this happen. Shout out to my boy, yep. Gabe. We on the radar. You feel me? That's it. That's it. That's yeah. all. There you go. Calm down, <laughs> Hemi, on the way. Freestyle out now. Make sure you go follow him. Go show him some love. Go show him some support. Love is free. Support is free. But try to renew that till next time. Hemward on the radar. We yes, out. sir. Bow. Yeah.